Okay, in this video we're going to look at some examples of integrating. Uh, we introduced it in the previous video. So, for each of these, I have been given dy by dx, the gradient function. And I want to find the actual equation of the curve. Okay, so, um, we want to get y equals. So, we add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So we're going to have 4x, add 1 to the power, so we get 3 over 3, plus 5x, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. The minus 2 integrates to minus 2x, and then of course we have that constant of integration. We have that plus c added on the end. Okay, so you can either write it like that, or you can write each of these elements like this. You can have the fraction out the front, if you like. So 4 thirds x cubed plus 5 halves x squared minus 2x plus c. Okay? These two things are exactly the same. Let's have a look at number 2. So here we have 3x to the 5. So add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. Then we have minus 4x to the minus 2. Even though it's a negative uh, or fractional index in this case, um, we do it in exactly the same way. We're going to add 1 to the power, so add 1 to minus 2, get minus 1, divide by the new power, and then we're going to have that constant of integration. Now, obviously, we can simplify this because 3 sixths is the same as 1 half, so you can write that as x to the 6 over 2 or 1 half x to the 6. Then we've got uh, these two minus signs, so we're going to have plus, and 4 over 1 is just 4, so plus 4x to the minus 1, and we have that plus c on the end, okay? So that has simplified it. Let's have a look at the third one. So add 1 to the power, so 1 half plus 1 is 3 halves, and then you're dividing by the new power, so divide by 3 halves. Then here we've got plus 2x. Now add 1 to a minus a third, you get 2 thirds. And then divide by the new power. And then we've got this plus c constant of integration. Now, 4 divided by 3 halves is the same as 4 times 2 thirds, which is 8 thirds. So we have 8 thirds x to the 3 halves plus 2 divided by 2 thirds is the same as 2 times 3 halves, okay? So that's 6 halves, which is 3. So 3x to the 2 thirds plus c. Now remember, in simplifying these, um, you do have access to a calculator, so there's no excuse for getting those fractions wrong.